such a nice day out today. I don't know about you guys, but when I wake up and it's sunny out and the birds chirping, it just makes me so excited for the day. So first things first today, guys, we're going to go ahead and check our plants. After I finish tending these needs, I want to show you guys what I'm going to be doing with my garden because I'm actually going to be redoing it a little bit after these get to elder because I have, ooh, they're going to be elder like tomorrow. But I'm going to be redoing my farm and I want to show you guys what I'm going to be doing. Alrighty, guys, so the idea with my peas get to elder is to take off this top layer up here so that I only have 50 here and I'm going to make a new garden here, which is also going to have 50, so I'll have 50 and 50. It's more than I have right now because I only have 75 up right now, and the problem is, I know I did this wrong because I know it should work, but the way I set up my, ooh, I didn't even harvest this one, but the way I set up my rug here, it doesn't actually get needs to all of the plants, so if I move it over here, I'll be able to get the needs to everybody, and it'll be a lot, lot quicker. So that's what I'll be doing in one of my next videos whenever those get to Elder, but for now, we're going to have to go ahead and do a couple of hatches, starting with my balance. If you guys didn't know, I actually re-dyed his uh, stitch right here, and you can see it's red, and I think it looks really, really nice. It's sort of like a Christmassy sort of type thing, but I think it looks really, really good. If you guys don't know, I have the first generation balance armament. I just bought it because obviously I'm a warlord, so I need to hatch my balance armament with this new pet that I've been working on, and this one is like a hybrid between them, except for the numbers on this are super high as well. So I'm gonna hatch this one with Madame Ted, and if I can get a balance armament, then hopefully we'll be able to start hatching with like a good other outside pet with half decent numbers to get the right talents, and hopefully we'll have enough decent talents on this that we won't get any busts or anything bad. <sighs> Please don't give me the stupid... I don't do... How do you even say this? Theranoceros. Come on, please. Alright, obviously... Ooh, dual stake. Yes, dual stake. Yes! Duke Pebbles the God! Alright, awesome. Well, we're gonna train that up later. Maybe even in this video. Well, I guess we'll have to see. Seth, Seth, you know what? Seth... Alright, well we also gotta go hatch on the storm because for some reason I also cannot seem to get the insane bull tiger. I have two of them here. So I'm hatching this with this pet so that we can try to get at least triple or quad crit. But as you can see, I'm just incapable of getting this pet when I hatch it with this one. So, guys, Seth is a questing monster. This guy literally started his storm maybe three days ago and he's already in Celestia. Like, that is just... I wonder if you can name your pet Juliet, because that would have been pretty funny. Lord Romeo and Juliet, that would have been pretty funny, but... Alright, we're gonna go ahead and hatch these together. As you can see, we have three of the crits. We have Storm Assailant, Storm Striker, and a Critical Striker. As well as, I think we have the other critical, it's Critical Hitter, I believe, is the Ultra Rare. I think that's one of these Ultra Rares, because we have a ton of them. So, please give us the Insane Bull Tiger. Please? Wait, that actually is the tiger. Oh, yes! <laughs> Let's get it! Twice in a row, we got lucky with our hatches. That's freaking awesome. Alright, so quick update on the death. If you guys weren't in my stream yesterday, you would know he's a commander. Yes, we finally got to commander. He currently has the commander's hat, but we're working on the robe and the boots. We have 131 tickets, which is nothing, but we're working on getting the full commander's gear, as well as shout out to everybody who gave me a bunch of death minotaurs. You see, I don't have them on here. I actually have them on balance, but I got like 25 death minotaurs, which is godly, so I appreciate all of you guys who hit me up with those. I have eight on here, and I have like 25 more on my balance. Oh my god. Thank you guys so much for that. I'm gonna be doing some tournaments on my death, and you guys seem to love the last death PvP I did, so I'm probably gonna be recording some of those, so look for those soon when I can actually get a tournament. Like, for some reason, whenever I choose to do a tournament, I just always have a conflict. Like, I can never actually sit down and do a tournament. So we're gonna try to get some of those recorded for you guys. I'll make it a priority so that we can actually get the commander's gear and keep doing tournaments on this guy, and eventually, maybe we'll quest him up to Magus. Who knows? It might get a little bit spicy, but for now, we're gonna try to get him to at least Warlord, but we gotta get full commander's gear, and that will be happening soon. Alright, back to life. We have 53 energy. We're gonna go ahead and take a couple of minutes to train up King Dunk a little bit further as you can see those are the current stats which are pretty pretty spicy if I could get spell proof at mega obviously I'm not really going for it because no one actually tries to get spell proof mega but if I did get spell proof mega and I could socket the ice giver jewel this would be a really really awesome otherwise I'm just gonna use this for max level peeve or something I, it just looks really nice but as you guys can see he is 704 out of 2000 so hopefully with five trains we can get him to around a thousand and uh, hopefully in the next couple of episodes we'll get him to mega all right so we got it to 900 in the next couple of days I'll be able to get it to mega now luckily I'm not gonna have to get this pet to ultra regardless because all of the ultra talents that I actually would need I already have my view on the ultra level I don't love it I really don't but at the same time usually when you're going to ultra it's because you have a jewel and you know that you're gonna be able to socket it once you get to ultra usually that'll make
make you like the perfect pet so yeah it's a little bit frustrating and annoying but when you get it to alter like you know you're gonna get that talent you know your pet's gonna be pretty much perfect so I guess there's sort of that trade-off like no one would actually get it to ultra like to get whatever jewel you get at ultra it's that you have your pet at mega it has all the talents that you want and you need to socket the ultra jewel and I mean, I guess it uses up a lot of Mega Snacks, but at the end of the day, it's really not that big of a deal. I mean, getting it to Mega takes a little while, but it's really not that bad. Alright, so as far as the Ice goes, he's sitting at 800 tickets right now. We need 3,000 to get the Athey. I got a lot of tournaments to do, guys. I got to do tournaments on a ton of characters, but it's okay. I think that's about going to do it for today's video. I know there wasn't, like, a huge amount of substance, but we just had a lot of stuff to catch up on. Hopefully, you guys are a little bit more well-informed on what's going on with me. In my next video, we're going to be doing some other spicy things, probably some peeve again, maybe some questing, but thank you you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy be sure to smash that like button and if you did enjoy I'll catch y'all